All right, I got a new package. I got some tie down straps. I've been doing a really crappy way. Just go buy down some $15 straps. I wasn't willing to buy the big tire straps because they can get extremely expensive. Sometimes four or $500, depending upon how set up you want. But we've, for these tires, they're really good for different sizes um, and they don't cost an arm in the way. I mean, they're only like 89 bucks, so they're pretty awesome. We're gonna open them up and see what they're like. All right, we got this set up right here. It's set up for all four tires. Um, they have a really good rating. I mean, obviously we're putting a hundred grand vehicle uh, on the trailer here and putting these $89 straps. So we're gonna put them to the true test and see how much we believe in these. So right here, you got all the little clamps and the straps to make it adjustable. Show you guys all the stuff. We're gonna put it on the Bronco Raptor right here. But we got the Raptor Bronco. Oh, it's got 37 inch tires on it. So we need heavy duty. So we got the chassis. That black part right there just kind of helps protect. Um, it's a little bit heavier duty. So I'm gonna do on the Bronco Raptor. And then uh, right here we got the, here we got the big benefit here is the steel right here. So can't tear and break. And then we got the bag here. So you can put it all in the bag when you're done instead of just throwing them like I do in the side of the garage. Then you got your warranty card right here. It's got a warranty. I didn't even know it'd come with that. Now there's a couple different things you can do with these. I mean, this has a sweet setup. Depending upon what wheels you're trying to accomplish right here. With the Bronco Raptor, and the side by side. There's just too many things like the brake caliper, things in the way in between the rims. So we can't feed it through that spoke right there, but that black strap would just kind of help protect it right there. I just can't feed it through there just because all the stuff inside those wheels. But a normal vehicle, you could be able to put it in there and it'd be a little bit quicker instead of going over the type of the tire. But I really like this feature. I just can't use it today. So the main style that I like is this. And this is a little bit safer route in my opinion. So just feed it through here. And the big benefit is just, this is adjustable. So if you got like a small tire, like a 25 inch tire or something like that, you could set it up to fit it to a smaller tire. Now these have 37 inch tires on them. So it takes it almost to the max, but not quite, but we're gonna run it to the max and see how it fits. Let's see if I can get it on here without falling off the trailer right here. I mean, even a bigger tire than this 37 inch tire, I, it would work. I mean, look at the space I have here. So even if you have a bigger tire, it's very adjustable. So it's a good setup. So I'll just feed it through there. It's fast and easy. So get it all tightened up, get it to the back of the tire a little bit better without falling off the trailer. <laughs> all right, there we go. So here we go. Just feed it right through the back on the bottom and then right through the top on the back. I mean, makes it easy to adjust it and maneuver it from side to side, depending upon where you're trying to hook it. It's really easy. It drives me crazy when people feed a strap through the, through the ratchet the wrong way. Get it tightened up and look at that. It's all set up. Nice tough nylon straps. Everything looks tight. Check, feel for the back, check. Yeah, good to go. So Steve, these guys gave Dallin some straps for his car. What do you think of these straps? Well, what do you think they're worth? Try them out on a Ford Raptor Bronco right out of the gate. You must have a lot of confidence in them. <laughs> I don't know if I'd have gone that far. Well, I had a lot of confidence in these and we made it hundreds of miles down the road. All of them are still on, they're still intact, they're not off. These are good straps. So Steve, what do you think uh, those things cost? You, you bought a bunch a of these. Full, a full, a full, full four set. For a full four set of this, what do you think this should cost? Uh, buck 50 to buck 80 probably. Cost Found some. half that. Oh. These are just a screaming deal. What do they cost? 89 bucks. What 89 bucks for a full set. Get you some.
hundred thousand dollar car didn't fall off, so, <laughs> so yeah, so we're okay. Well, Sixty nine dollar well, and what did you say? Eighty nine dollars. Eighty nine dollar insurance. Eighty nine dollar insurance tie straps for a hundred grand car. It's set. That's a solid, solid investment.